government fight against Galamse is far from over as the activity continues unchecked in the central region, devastating river bodies and forests. During a visit by City News to areas such as Upper Dintra East and West, as well as some adjoining towns near the Ashanti and Western regions in March, the team observed a rise in Galamse activities. In this report, the news team revises the issues noted during their first visit to see if any progress has been made. Central Regional Correspondent Calvi Sete leads the team. About three weeks ago, we came here to have an extent of how Galamse activities is impacting negatively on farming activities. We are here again to take a critical look at how this activity is going on. From what we understand, the Galamseas dig trenches, and these trenches lead to leaching. Now, this also leads to the farmer automatically giving his farmland to the Galamse operators because he won't even have access to the farm. So he's left with no option than to give his farm to Galamse operators. Several other cocoa farms have experienced this uh, uh, tragic incident, and most of the farmers have been left with no option than to give out their farms to, to, to Galamseyers to use for Galamsey activities. We would also speak to some farmers to give us the extent of damage done to these cocoa farms. Some <laughs> Still here in Dunkwa, on Ofing, in the central region, this is a stretch that connects to the area where the Galamseas are working. Now, as you can see just beside me, is the stretch where uh, the Galamseas use to go to their, their site. It's the same stretch where farmers also use to enter their site. Now, the muddy nature of the site makes it a bit difficult for Galam Galamseas and even for that matter farmers to get access to their farm. We can see as far as our camera can reach, we can see a small farm, portion of a farm there where some farmers are working. Uh, close to it is a Galamse site uh, where some individuals are mining gold. So this makes it difficult for uh, Galamseas and even farmers to get access to their farm. Uh, this situation has pushed the farmers, like I said earlier on, to give out their farm for Galamse activities in this community. Now, the Galamse activities have gotten to the extent of getting closer to the farm, thereby pushing the farmer to give out his land for, for Galamse activities. And now, uh, accessibility to these farms sometimes becomes difficult. Uh, we, we struggle to even get access from the main road onto this site, the same way as the farmer. If you could see, the activity is so close to the farm such that the farmer has no choice than to give out his farm. This is Nyame Betre in the Upper Dintra East Municipality. We are here in the community where some individuals are mining for gold. But this job, from the way it seems, is not only meant for men. The women have also taken part in this Galamse activity. We would engage a lady who is in this process of what they call arere in the local parlance. Uh, these women engage in this arere and to also scavenge for gold. Uh, Madam, uh, your are Selena Ibrahim. Selena, uh, uh, catch me. Uh, the important now is you want to say meme, 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 you want to say meme
Send me a German name. Okay. Yeah, I'm a son black. We are black. No? I... And I'm here. 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 Ni ena Okay, so um, she's going to dump it in a pot where they are prepared. Uh, at a later time, though, they are going to scavenge through it and possibly find gold. And in the movie, I'm not going to be able to find gold. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to find gold. I'm not going to be able to find we say 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 I know boom. A boom, six minutes. I'm just at the frontage of the Upper Dintra Traditional Council, where we would engage traditional authorities on issues relating to Galamse. Traditional authorities we know are the custodians of Upper Dintra lands, and for that matter, we will speak to them to give us insight on Galamse issues. And so I see a debia na ye convince and anonym and anonymous. I mean, the minimum will say. Get up as any anonym, a moon, I am her hair, yes, as asthma. A yetimafona, a chassa, a das asthma, a moon or more say in asthma. If we say, we be a will full bear twenty acres. No one one ash and one or two a man, gam see nibi. Now, why you musica? See, care or begin to be crampon crying if he, like I say, be an anonym and a hot assass, or no one assassin, and an anonym the man who has said, we did this or no. No, Coton, we send was it. No fast as men are not asked what the mammy. And he may blame say yen and we have a for net as one more money, yen, my garam, you know, a cosso, cassia, yen and an ammonia, see you here, your mass as no essay. Tell my channel for one by no. Nan and an om the board, and then here, yes, I garam, see it. Port and put them quickly. One or more, eh, yeah, caca, 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 caca. In the now, I'll go for sponsor one or two goods in mouth. That's it. On which you are working now for our car. But it may be a muna, a pedia. China for you, a chassis air banner. And normally new technology by say the machine tour. We just can guess here. In this is your woman, we have a machine. No, I may announce it or pan what the sat number China in Nicra. You would too, you are getting sicker. Experts from the University of Cape Coast say the chemicals used in mining has a rippling effect on farmlands within mining areas. They will help us better understand how these chemicals affect farmlands and what possibly could be done. Mercury that is going to remain in the soils around this Galamse area would have immense uh, consequences for, for the country. We're not going to be able to use these uh, lands around the Galamse area because mercury as it were. It's not going to decompose. It's not going to go away. They will remain in the soil until they get to dangerous levels. But what we should be extremely careful of, using cyanide uh, to extract gold. If we don't find ways of ensuring this doesn't happen on the scale that we have mercury, we're going to poison our, all our water bodies because cyanide is soluble in water. In the mining industry, mercury has been sold for years and centuries. You don't know where the mercuries are sold. 
don't know where they come from. What is even worse is that we are using cyanide to treat gold in this country. Who takes inventory of how much cyanide comes into this country, how much of it is used, where do we keep the rest? We are sitting on a table. It is time for chemists to speak out that these things should be streamlined and nobody can sell chemical in this country without professional certificate. We are currently here on the Ofing Bridge. Now this bridge connects to Obwase, to Kumase, as well as connecting from Dunkwa on Ofing to the Takradi in the western region. This is a major bridge that connects across neighboring communities. But right here on the Ofing Bridge, you could see activities of illegal mining happening. Um, these illegal miners are using Chamfang. It is a Chinese machine used to mine for the mineral resources on the Dunkwa Onofin River. Uh, the last time we came here, uh, the DCE made mention that, I mean, they have made several efforts in ensuring that these individuals who mine on the Dunkwa Onofin River put an end to it. But here you can see these individuals mining for the mineral resources just at the expense of quite a number of people who use this same river as a source of drinking water. The Ghana Water Company Limited some time back has also expressed their disappointment at authorities for not ensuring that uh, these illegal miners stop these activities on the Ofin River. Now we would engage the Municipal Chief Executive for Dunkwao to tell us more about the situation. The illegal mining continues to be a challenge um, to the municipality. But I will, I will say, since your last visit to the place, nothing has really changed in terms of the challenges we are facing um, in the combating of illegal mining in the district. Um, we still have these um, recalcitrant individuals who still work on the river. And, um, you know, the challenge here is that um, we, the river divides um, Central Region and Ashanti Region. Apparently, East and um, Akufum District. And so you'll be here um, trying to get them off the river, but they will just go to the other side of the river and they will, they will assume the position of not being in your district. And the challenge is getting the speedboats to be on the river and also getting uh, experienced divers to be on the river to be able to get them from the river it's, it's, it has been a challenge after this time. But we have worked very closely with the chiefs in the district, especially the Dunga chief, Nana Kofu Bob Yunyakun, um, the third. And he has given us um, some men who are serving as volunteer group for the, for the municipality. Um, about two weeks ago, they made arrest of two individuals who were working with these chamfer machines on the river. And the issue was reported to the police, which uh, the police has taken over and the investigation is ongoing. They took them to court and they, they got a remand for them and so they were in police custody um, pending other investigation. And the same group, the, the volunteer that the chief gave us, also made arrest of four other individuals who were working on the river, I mean, using chamfer machines to work on the river and they were also handed over to the police and the police also uh, um, took them to court to secure remand for them and also um, continue with the investigation. So these are the things that we've been able to do and um, helping us to um, combat the menace, especially the illegal mine in the district. I am right here in Dunkwa on a thing in the central region where i'm standing is a bridge that connects to the other side of the enclave where the miners work this bridge initially was not like this and it tells you the extent of damage these miners can go to ensure that they mine gold where i'm standing is quite dangerous individuals who use this stretch have to take precaution before crossing however farmers whose farms have been affected by galamsey activities I also cry now to government for support. Carve, Stete, City News, Dunkwa Onofin.